my fucks every day up Every day patches done mud up Oh my god, you should match it, it's the KO You know I like this till I fuck my 28 up What's good, YouTube? It's your man Spike Lee, where you're boss in the game, you know what I'm saying? Since 1998, don't get it twisted. Today, I'm gonna bring you a new episode of the series I like to call Under the Radar. In this series, I push on onto artists, producers, songs, albums, whatever it is. Whatever the topic of the episode is, I'm gonna bring it to y'all. It's gonna be more under the radar, like, you know. You know, I ain't gonna bring on no mainstream, more underground, more... Under the radar, I guess. I guess it's self-explanatory. In this episode of Under the Radar, I'm gonna bring y'all some alternative artists. These are more like, you know, the Thundercats, the Steve Lacey's, the Internet, Tame Impala, oh, Mac DeMarco. Anybody like in that type of type of genre of music, because that's what I'm giving y'all today. First artist I'm gonna show y'all, his name is Choker. The way I found him personally is my brother sent me this song called Patrol Bliss back in 2019. I, honestly, I'm not even sure how he found it, but I heard that I was fucking with it, so I was like, hey. So I, I dug into his discography and I really like I really like his music. First thing we wanna do is play Patrol Bliss since I was just talking about it. Yeah, so that's the first song I ever heard by him. So yeah, he had three EPs, three songs each, and two albums. So he have you know a good amount in his discography. Um, I feel like y'all should check it out. Next song I'm gonna play is El Dorado. Next song I got for y'all is Master P. This is on his Dog Candy EP. <laughs> this is my song. He getting some notability, you know what I'm saying? Next up, we got, hmm, who we gonna go to next? Ooh, this is a fire list, I ain't ready to lie. I'm gonna go to Flozig, you know what I'm saying? I actually found him 
from an influencer. I can't even remember what video or who it was, but I know I was just scrolling down my feed and I... Actually, no, he's an influencer. I seen him post a TikTok or something and I decided to check his music out. Oh, his TikTok's moving, doing his thing, Pu pushing the agenda, his music out there. I wanna help him out with that, you know what I'm saying? People that follow me might not be following you, so. Let's get it. Uh, first song I'm gonna play is from his EP called Beige, and the song is called Mutual. Let's get it. Yeah, I found him on TikTok. I checked out his EP that he was promoting. I actually fucked with it. So yeah, next song I'm gonna play is Serious. It's on the same EP as I mentioned earlier, Beige. Let's get it, you know what I'm saying? Like his music just feel like, it just make me feel like real classy. Like I'm chilling with my girl with a wine glass in my hand. Just, can you take me serious? Uh, I can't sing, but y'all, y'all get the gif, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just chilling with a wine glass in my hand. We just getting, you know. Next artist I got up is Rail Ye. The way I found him, I was on TikTok. Y'all remember when the legend himself, Van No 3000, made that instrumental sampling Bad, bad, not good. Everybody was making videos with his beat in the background. And at the end of the video, they'll just have adults swim in the brackets. I seen someone else do that, but with another sound. I'm like, what is this? This shit is smooth. So, you know me, I pressed the sound because I want to know what song it is. But at the time, it wasn't even out yet. I'll show y'all the video real quick. listening to this and I'm like bro first of all you can see how talented he is he got he's playing different instrumentals using his vocals and all that like come on obviously I was in love with this so I think I commented up here like a good three to four times I literally was listening to this video like it was an actual song it was literally nothing but like a 15 to 30 second clip the thing I like about his music is just it just give me like good vibes like really I get positive energy from his music it make me feel like I'm on a beach or on an island or something certain music just does that some some music put me in another in another place and that's what Rao Ye does for me before I play the full beach side song I'm gonna let y'all check out some other songs this one is called Back To You
Next song I got for y'all is Lucinda. side to the song that was in the TikTok that I was talking about in the beginning. Let's get it. Next artist I'm gonna talk about is it's pronounced Mick G. I found him also on a TikTok. It was kind of a video similar to what I'm doing now. It said something about alternative artists you may not know or something like that. Now, I can't remember what song was playing in the background or anything, but these are my songs I got right here. The song I'm about to turn on is called Western. Let's get it. favorite part the whole song is fire like this this song at one point in time i was in a bad mood and i literally played this song all day and it just made me feel so much better bro like i can't even describe it but this song is like therapy to me like golly next song is isn't it so convenient say like, nah the next song isn't it so convenient <laughs> Oh, 
song by him I got, which is the last song of today, sadly, is Annabelle. This is actually on his other album. It's called Pronounce Mick G. That's it for this video. Feel free to uh, feel free to check out any of the songs or albums or artists that I've put out today. I put them out for y'all to enjoy, you know what I'm saying? So feel free to check them out. I really, really hope that y'all found interest in all of these artists, but people like different things, so I wanna know which one y'all favorite the most, which one impressed y'all the most. Comment that down below. Y'all know y'all the homies, so y'all could be in any video y'all want via comment section, you know what I'm saying? With that being said, drop a like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notifications on so you won't miss an act of lit. It's coming from the way this boss himself, Spike Lee, the GOAT, you know what I'm saying? Hope y'all have a wonderful day. Hope you receive a lot of blessing, money, and positivity for today, tomorrow, and forever, you know what I'm saying? See y'all next time. Okay, yeah, shot it on